Hi, hello, and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu. I, like Pinhead, am imaginary. Thank you for dreaming me up today. Let's uh, get right back into this game. It has been a long while since I actually have last played this. Um, I remember last time we played, Sarah Hawkins was discovered after the death of Colden. Pierce, victim of hallucinations, advanced inside the Riverside Institute at the, to the point of discovering Sarah Hawkins, a live prisoner of Dr. Fuller. The last confrontation between Charles Hawkins and his wife has revealed that the man, under his monstrous appearance, tried to protect her from the influence of the myth. He warned Pierce, if Sarah succumbs to the lure of the occult, she will lose all free will, allowing the cult to bring its plan to fruition. Summon an ancient and evil god. Henceforth, Pierce must have must know more about Sarah Hawkins' intentions and find a way to protect her. Great. I'm curious, what are Sarah Hawkins' intentions? Oh, we gotta watch this again. I'm going to actually do so because it's been a little while. No parent should have to bury their child, knowing it's me that put him there. The guilt, the guilt will never go away. I feel your pain. I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. My work was what lured me here in the first place. It began showing me things. Alright, I remember enough of this, Thanks, and Charles should never have seen. this doesn't make for great content. You guys just watch us in the last episode of, you know, if you're going through my library of videos here. I don't remember this. <laughs> I don't remember that. Four clown posses to spin. Or should I spin them though? I'm gonna put them in a medicine that doesn't let me. Let's throw them into. What's it called? I gotta hit enter, that's right. Things you forget about the game. Seems like a repeating pattern in which I wake up in this on this same ottoman just to go down and talk to two people. My question is, uh, what is um, the Bradley? It's Bradley, right? Yeah. I wonder what Officer Bradley's uh, influence in the game is going to be from this point on. All I can think of with, with Brad, Officer Bradley now is the South Park character. I think there's more resemblance than just the name a little Mr. bit. Mr. Pierce, we were waiting for you. Good. Sarah doesn't have much time. What are you doing here? He, he told <laughs> Did me you he was think I would here. let you confront the occult without supervision? This is too dangerous for a bookworm like you. Algernon... I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. Very well, Sarah. He was the one in the I bar. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. That's the dude who was in the bar. Oh, I don't trust him. He was reading some Eldritch... I think he was reading the Necronomicon at the time. Or whatever the book was. I don't trust him. That's the dude at the bar. I don't trust him. Okay. Uh, oh, I got a question, Sir Hawkins. Can I sit down? Oh, yeah. Okay, it's going to sit down. Good. You seem different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Oh, some weird hand movements. Cleaner. I can still hear the voice calling me. It is so strong. So ancient. Enticing. Dangerous. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. 
I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce, but I can't come back to Boston with you. I saw everything. The tunnels under your house, the rituals, the secret society. I must get you out of its reach. I know how dangerous they can be to me. But first, there's the Wanderer. Whoa, what is I must find it. What is that animation? It. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. No, you will come with me to Boston. I owe you no obedience. This isn't what about the what hell you is want the animation or don't to do. You would I risk you no destroying obedience. the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No. You're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. I know what I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. Are they talking about the creature? Oh, what is... You can't give up. Even knowing the stakes. Yes, thank you. Still, I won't let you go. What was that? What? You will stay here until I find a safe way to return to Boston. That's ridiculous. Listen, Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks, and oh. we may all survive this battle. All right. I'll help. I think I know what that means. The little squiggles, it's like a hidden option where it's like, you don't get to know what this is because you're too crazy, mister. Algernon sounds, sounds, sounds like such a cool name. Uh, owner of the Nemo's Bookstore and friend of Sarah Hawkins. Uh, common knowledge of the cold. Oh, poor Marie. Charles is dead. Um, and then Sarah is not. Unfortunately, their son still is. God, I hate the idea that he died because his parents were fighting and in all sorts of occult shit. Through the eyes of Dr. Colden, I finally visited the Riverside Institute. The operating rooms and dormitories surround the pharmacy. Everything here has an air of respectability. Do the nurses really know, like Dr. Colden, what's going on in the cellars? What is sure is that the staff fear Fuller. It is perhaps this fear that prevents them questioning the validity of, medical, of a medical center of its size on such a small island. Actually, I'm quite curious about that too. Never even thought about that though. What is? What's from the Necronomicon? Ooh. You know, that's a that's a kissable face right there. And that's. Oh. Gluey, nigglefne, kthlurele, wakal nigle, the neck nagle. Fatagn. Fatagn. By Abdul Al Hazir. Al, -al, -al Hazred. I don't know if I pronounced that right. The Elder Sign. Men discovered a protective symbol so powerful that it could remove them from the gaze of creatures of the men. They carved it into their jewels, painted it on the doors of their houses, and embroidered it on the clothing of their children. Later, they understood that it could even exercise its power on the doors of the sunken city. Uh, so a star with what looks kind of like a campfire keeps the curse at bay. The words that follow are not really mine. They were communicated to me by, by in my dreams and trances by the greatest minds in the cosmos. I take advantage of these moments of lucidity they, that grow even shorter to write down these few scraps from the immense knowledge that they send crashing against my broken mind night after night. I can only leave these crumbs of knowledge to the world in the hope that reading them will guide men, but I already fear that unholy words will stain the soul of whoever dares open this accursed collection, because, just like prisoners whose confessions were written on their own skin, I shall protect my heritage beyond the ages. Okay. Um, not as, not quite as kissable, I'll be honest, not quite as kissable. No. 
The call can be made without a guide. The guide does, or the call cannot be made without a guide. The guide does not have to see or to hear. Does not have to see or to hear. He is fully committed to the cause of the great old one that he serves. He will find the oracle. He will pursue the truth seeker. He will neither reveal nor explain. He will observe. And when the stars align and the day of awakening arrives, he will take his place and lead the call. Okay, so. So, so clearly, Sarah Hawkins is the oracle, and Pierce is the truth seeker. Or at least, th that's what I'm deducing here at this point. Um, but who's the oracle that's watching from the distance? I'd, I'd have to, like, I want to presume that it's, like, Sarah's, was it her father? Because he's the one who brought Pierce to the island. But maybe there was someone else who had a hand in that. I already read all these. Poker. I didn't know I had that. I guess I still hold it. I'm still holding it. Actually, I gotta go find Algernon. He went this way. Or Algernon. Is he upstairs? Or. Where'd you go, my friend? I'll probably do the study, you know? I wonder why they boarded up that part of the house weird bud want to see how, is it just gonna let me go down here oh oh it caved in damn it the entrance to the tunnel has been buried following the cave-in but at oh, least right. I didn't it caved in when I was playing I played through the cave-in I that's why I was at the hospital duh all right, let's talk to Al Al Algernon, Algernon. Seeing you again. Ah, it's you. I'm here for her, not you. I don't care why you're here. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? Use the symbol. By following Charles Hawkins, that imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something, an amulet. The symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could? We are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. Oh, fuck off. Feel free to ask me any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. Oh, yes, I'm, I'm very smart. Fuck you. Um. I mean. Honestly, I kind of want to go with this one. What is the true nature of the Necronomicon? All these things I are... I see that you are interested <laughs> in my precious my book. Pretty... It is the <laughs> definitive book my, of knowledge of the occult, Mr. Pierce. Written by Abdul Alhazred. Uh, it is Al the answer to many a question. That is why it's so highly valued. Yes, and even though it is a copy, given to me as a gift by Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University, the work remains very powerful. I understand better why you keep it in a safe. Someone made a copy of it? This creature, the Shambler, what is it? It is a hunter. It travels from one dimension that. to another to hunt down its prey. Francis Sanders was one of its victims. How could a creature like that end up in one of Mrs. Hawkins' paintings? Sarah has an uncommon gift. A connection with entities that live beyond our reality. I doubt that she was aware at the time, but when she painted the picture in a certain way, she called it. And now it remains in our reality. Let us say that it uses the painting as a portal into our reality, and we make enticing prey for it. That's why we must find a way of sending it back to where it came from permanently. Mm-hmm. Who's he? The dagger with a strange sign. Was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? 
If you are referring to the Dagger of the Ancients, then yes, it was me. Why? Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the dagger. <laughs> but I doubt he knew its purpose. It allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. Yeah. We you mean that, that thing could come back? Yes, that is why I am looking for a more... Permanent solution. Would burning the painting it just must work? never come back. What does burning the painting work? A genius like you must have already found a way to get rid of this creature, yes? I sense your sarcasm, but it does happen that, yes, I do have a solution. I think I can destroy it, but for that I must approach the creature. And to be able to do so, I need the key to Rie. Another one of your baubles. It is no bauble, really? unbeliever. Really? It is a very powerful yeah. protection, able to repel very ancient forces, much more effective than your cult. What does it look like? It is a golden amulet, <laughs> bearing very those, ancient like, mm, inscriptions yes, some, um, and an elder so, sign so at its center. Kind of a star with an eye in it. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. I found this drawing among his personal effects. I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear again. I trust you. That's the man that I keep running into. And there's a lot of busks that kind of look like him around here. Ah, it's you again. God. Be more respectful, dude. That's all I wanted to know. All in good time. I didn't even say anything that time. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of busts that I'm pretty sure that look like this. Um, all over the house. I want to go over there. I want to explore that part of the house, but it's not going to let me. And... With all that being said, what about the what's his face, the groundskeeper? I'd be better off if I went to see the others. <laughs> well, I mean, this shouldn't be too hard, right? Sarah seems busy just boarding up all those different parts of the house. windows too or is it was it already like that what is she trying to keep out hey, was that oh my can't get a good look at it what is that that hey, I want to get a better look at that what is that okay hold on oh can't tell what it is that sucks alright something uh what was his name? Oliver? Right? Simon. I like the name Oliver more. Alright. Was Sarah Hawkins telling the truth? Wait. Wait, is this the right bus? Now it's a different bus that I gotta find? I guess we're fucking going to reconstruction mode. Ah! Hey, how bright it gets in reconstruction mode. That's so obnoxious. What kind of ritual was she preparing? Probably the ritual was the painting of the Shambler displayed here. Yeah, she's probably trying to trap it, maybe. That would make a lot of sense. Oh, fuck, what did I just do? Oh, fuck, what did I do? 
Mrs. Hawkins never told me why she was in possession of the Necronomicon. How did she survive her encounter with the Shambler? No, okay, I don't like this. Probably because I was trapped in this protective circle. Knowing Mrs. Hawkins, I bet she was willing to fight. Charles Hawkins was ready to do anything to protect his wife. Yeah, he was a sexist jackass, but he was trying to protect her, I suppose. If the amulet can protect Sarah Hawkins from the influence of the mythos, I must find it. The creature was trapped in the circle, and she was probably trying to figure out a way to get rid of it for good, or something along those lines. Alright, well... Looks like one of the wardrobes I can hide in, but it doesn't give me the option to. So maybe I won't ever have to. What a pretty room this one is. Wait, hold on, I don't need the lantern anymore. Put it away. Um, ooh. That's creepy. Okay, why does she have two of the same paintings here? One's in better condition than the other. Hmm. There's that bus, the same one that's on the... Can't do anything with it, so I'm guessing that's not the one I'm looking for, but it's the same bus. Okay, I guess it's not in this room. Oh, I can't jump down anymore. No more hardcore parkour for Mr. Detective Pierce. Wait, who are you? Wait, has Bradley been here this whole time? Have... Wait. When did you... Look. You must have heard what I said, and I'm sorry. I didn't mean to compare you to the idiot detective in South Park. How are you, Bradley? Ah. It's you, Pierce. I'm just worried about Marie. I mean, Dr. Colden. Have you had any news? Oh... I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna tell the truth. I'm so sorry, Bradley. I could do nothing to save her. What do you mean? What happened? I'm not sure what happened. But I found her body in the cellars of Riverside. You... You sure that you've got nothing to do with it? If she hadn't tried to help you, she might still be alive. I'm sorry. God, they're, the animations Truly. are so wonky. It's that slug, Fuller. I swear I'll shoot him. What do you say, Pierce? Are you with me? Marie Colden. You knew her better than I did, but don't you think that I it would be up Marie's for a reason, way of right? Thinking? She spent her life saving lives. So wouldn't killing someone in cold blood be contrary to her convictions? Yeah. You're probably yeah. right. Some, some we must there, do something Pierce. for those who are still alive, Bradley. Sarah is still in danger as long as the cult is active. We need to see this through, otherwise Marie's death will have been in vain. You're, uh, the voice of reason, Pierce. As always. Cool, good enough. I prefer to be alone. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, bye, man. Feel better, my dude. Hello. Figured it was somewhere around here. Seriously, it's like just lying in the open like that? It wasn't even hidden. This is the amulet that Drake was looking for. Oh. <sighs> Shit. Do I give it to Drake? I don't think I should give it to Drake. Can I go to the 
with this door yet? No, okay. I don't know if I'll ever be able to see what's beyond that door. Uh, no, I don't think I'm gonna show it to Drake. That's a good, that's a good, um, that's a good recommendation, but I don't agree with it quite yet, uh, quite, er, right now. Um, what I do, uh, agree with is that I am going to go ahead and end this video here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. Uh, if you didn't, please hit that dislike button and let me know why down in the comments below so I can work on improving my content. Thank you for watching. Have a good night.